34-year-old Slovenian referee David Smites gets us under attacking plays. Boniface. The attempted little flick on. Ultimately unsuccessful by finding Dibbling. Cuts inside nicely. Can work the ball with either foot. Dibbling. In towards goal. And England strike early, courtesy of Ethan Waneri. Top goal scorer in qualifying. He scored the opening goal for the Young Lions in their opening fixture of the finals. It just had to be in Waneri, the 16 year old from Arsenal. The youngest player to appear in the Premier League has broken the deadlock. Delightful ball, wonderful setup play by Dibbling. And Waneri makes no mistake from close range. Gets in behind his defender, Zebic. Steers the ball comfortably home. England are in front. They were undefeated in the qualifiers until they met Netherlands in their final qualifier. There goes Matkovic, trying to create space, gets a powerful shot away, but it's just pushed wide of Setford's goal. Certainly not happy with his defence is uh, Setford. A few angry words. Anton Matkovic, one of the Osijek under-17 stars who turn out for this Croatian side. Golding now, lovely through ball into the path of Chuomi who tries a shot, squeezed out for... Oh no, it's called a uh, goal kick. It might have been squeezed against the Croatian defender, but Chuomi, no protests from the England man. Red Bull Salzburg set up, one of the brightest prospects at the academy he's been playing for the feeder club Liefere and this is poor from England they set up a chance for Croatia to score shot taken by Lalic but it's deflected away eventually out for the corner there is the man from Red Bull Salzburg but it's gifted to Lalic by captain Samuel just off balance as he tried to clear Achimpong got his body in the way Corner to Croatia. Lalic lays it flat toward the near post. Lalic with a delivery in that was a little awkward in terms of height for Moneri again, combining with his Arsenal teammates, promising for England, and a shot that takes a bit of a deflection eventually strikes Chiwome. Moneri gets his nose inside the 18 yard area, pulls it back, dibbling running. Three manage the situation the yellow card has come out shot here it's powerful enough it may very well have been on target as well but no trouble for Setford great footwork but a fine effort from Matkovic from uh, Pavic a long period of pressure from England dibbling again dribbling finds Golding and had the ball snatched from out in front first goal in this tie Will we see more? That's brilliant from the Arsenal man. Goes down and the referee is going to take a look and signal penalty. Miles Lewis Skelly goes beyond two defenders. Goes down under a challenge. And the Slovenian referee agrees that it's a penalty. England under 16 captain, a leader on the pitch. To find a second goal for England, he's denied brilliantly by Klapcic. Would you believe, in Group D, that is the third penalty awarded in this group. Switzerland missed two penalties against Netherlands earlier today. Third penalty in Group D. This one for England against Croatia, and it's been magnificently saved by Croatia's number one. Maybe a little something on here for... The young Blazers, Skoko, out wide, Majic. Lalic takes a big deflection and then out of plans it forward. And maybe Croatia have an opportunity in the closing seconds of this opening half to find an equaliser. It's a charging run from Majic and a shot that goes just high. And that will be the last play of the opening half in this Group D tie. Slovenian referee ending the opening 45 minutes. Majic being gifted a little space, gets the shot away. It's powerful, but it's high. Ultimately, these sides head to the change room.
After a half that has yielded one goal, although a missed penalty by Michael Golding could have made it 2 0 to England. Ethan Waneri is Smith, but he's been a little more speculative playing in the central defensive position. No changes for England at the break. Croatia just the one substitution with uh, Kuyunzu semi finals. All four semi finalists qualify for the under, nine, under 17 World Cup as a driving ball from Majic is comfortably dealt with by Setford. Side four times, runners up last time out as well. Here's Majic. Majic with a driving ball in towards Setford's goal. It was on. Still more. England have dominated possession in this game. Golding steps away. Dibbling to hit it. Dibbling going directly at goal. Clutching onto it. Klapcic. Penalty save already. It's not going. Young Lions squad to join Newcastle, the first team. They make his Premier League debut this season for Newcastle. Klapcic just takes with possession, but now England win possession back courtesy of Lovelace. Archie Gray. Gray. Space here for Gray to shoot. Takes a big deflection. And out it goes for the corner. He put a footwork from Archie Gray. Footballing played for Leeds as well. Quality, lovely work. The shot is effectively straight at Klapcic. The setup play from Miles Lewis Skelly looked so promising again. Showing why he's influential to uh, Ryan Gary's plans for this side. Lalic. Majic. The shot is beyond the defenders, but not beyond Setford. They're growing in confidence here, Croatia. They're putting together a series of efforts at the England goal. Boniface. How wide. Lovelace is waiting for a delivery. This has come a little too furiously. Battling to find an equaliser. Referee allowed play to continue. The shot is taken, but again, Sitford alert to the danger. Advantage played by the referee. Substitute very much getting the shot away, but disappointingly from a Croatian perspective. From the corner. It's not a clinical clearance, it's skewed off the side of the boot and out for another corner, the sixth of the game. Throw in taken quickly, very much toward the back post, hits the woodwork in a way, oh so nearly snuck into that top corner. The Dinamo Zagreb man producing a lovely moment, steps away from his marker and then lofts the ball beyond the keeper. Now Croatia again. Lofted ball, that could have gone anywhere. Rimac on the end of it, tries to take a shot. He faints. Charging run, Chalusic looking to pick out Rimac again. Back to Chalusic. And had he been able to bring that ball down a little more cleanly, it might have been trouble for England. 90 seconds of added time remains. Croatia pushing. And England a little fortunate that that ball didn't stick on the boots of Chalusic. To try to fashion an equaliser late on. It's out wide, a one-on-one -on -one situation potentially here. Setford is not going to be tested as Filip Zivkovic. No defenders in front of him, just set for to beat. With that, the final whistle from the Slovenian referee. England have claimed an opening day victory in Group D to start their 2023 UEFA European Under-17 Championship. It has not been completely peerless in terms of performance. Michael Golding missing a late first-half penalty, but Ethan Waneri tucking home Tyler Dibbling's delightful delivery.